podcast about this land, my friend.
What can I get for you? All done. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. See my wares. <laughs> Nothing else? I'm off. Be well. Old attack. And in broad daylight. The hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. What news, Hunwald? We've learned that Herivrith rode for the fort at Anicastre following the massacre. I have assembled a fiat there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, Eivor. You mean your orders, Elderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herivrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. The poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried we on. We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember it. By a man who should be God. Here's the camp, do you see? The feared will soon be ready for action. Give them mead and let them rest. There is hard fighting ahead. Fetching the turf this time, eh? Someone to freeze to death here. Stand up here. He's getting me if we this flock. A bold attack. And in broad daylight. The hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. Oh. 
Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Avor, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled here? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready then? We attack now. Ready the fiat. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Hmm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Challenge at last.
Herifrith has gone mad! You! Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Said TB added if say Benedictus. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. Eivor, is he... is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve.
Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor, if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Hello. Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunnar about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunnar is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunnar away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunnar has faith in you, I do too. Then I say you have fine taste. Have a look at what I've got. 
What have you got for me today? done I must so long there's some new things for you to look at may I see your stores Finished? I have to go. Goodbye, Eivor. Good day, my love. Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire, and he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Shall we? Please, Eivor. I should go. Uba Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you.
Uba Ragnason. You are a long way from Repton. Do not make pleasant with me, Wolfkist. I know what you did. Did you think you could keep it a secret forever? I cannot say I know what you mean. My brother, Ivar. You banished him to Helheim. Denied him a seat in Odin's hall. You know what he did, Uba. The oaths he broke, the lies he spread. He was my brother, and a king. All this I know, but I do not regret what I did. Speak no more, Eivor. Lies are all you know. I want it settled one on one, feast to feast. Come! See how well a weasel fights. This is your mistake to make. I will not hold back. I will show you all the mercy you showed Ivan. You would have done the same in my place, Uba. How dare you say such a thing? You did your brother justice by coming here, but you're beaten. I suggest you leave. <clears throat> there is no shame in it. Go, and mourn as you must. Would you have denied me my reward, Eivor, had it come to it? Never. When we meet again, Eivor, may it be as friends. It will. A message has come. I need your eyes, my friend. It's Swanborough. Hello! Swanborough, you made it. I did. I should send a letter to Hunwell to give him the news. Oh, you know how he frets over me. He misses you, that is certain. But as Alderman, he cannot afford to let his grief overpower him. I pray he fares well. 
I adore the lad, but I worry the burden will be too great. He should be fine. He has the heart of a leader. Now come, settle in, and enjoy your new home. Show me what lies ahead.
Troll curse corruption lurks here.
my eyes soon. And... There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor, thought I smelt you under wind. Gunner, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunner. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwards? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? That mama dad carried the Vengilid and Anon. Couldn't help Drews me. Bricks of man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air sick or gumpas killed. Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years. <laughs> <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawen. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sawan, is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated godright kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. 
Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill. But the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around. It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenhelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety! Find somewhere to hide! Where did they come from? Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land 
must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities.